Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Farming Valley. So today, I promise, I promise that we are not going to be doing chisels and bits all episode. <laughs> um, a couple things I want to go over real quick. We have about 200,000 gold. Yesterday, strawberries and turnips all came in. The potatoes and cucumbers did not, and they did not come in today, so... Um, but we're still about 200,000. Also, I changed all this water over. You'll notice it's now one connected texture and looks much better. Much, much better. And that's the main thing that I was working on was honestly spent forever. Oh, and I had to get animal medicine for the cow. He got sick probably at the back end of last year. I noticed I haven't been able to milk him. And I just happened today to get to the store to pick up animal medicine for him. <laughs> He's been sick for a couple weeks, but... Um, he got sick, I think, at the back end of December. That's when he stopped producing milk, and I just haven't had a chance to get over... Well, I've had chances to get over to the store, but I haven't. Um, now one thing I want to do before we start speed building today is I want to pop... I think... Maybe we have enough of these? Go, go, go. Uh... No, I need a little bit more XP. No! <laughs> I was wanting to hit level 30 so we can enchant our Madoc. Um... Let me pop into the mine real quick. I'm just going to run down there, and I'm going to get... Uh, actually, I don't know why I'm... Oh, well. If I teleport, it's going to take XP, so I don't want to do that, actually. I've got to teleport. But that's not really ideal. I need to get a new uh, night vision helmet. At some point, because I would like to go mining. That's 10%. Okay. I probably should have brought my fortune pick, but I didn't. Just in case we ran into diamonds. If we run into diamonds, then I'm not going to mine them. Um... And I'll just wait and come back with my fortune pick. But I was hoping that we had enough of those enchanted bottles to get us up to 30 levels. Oh, I want this. Okay, we are level 30 now. Awesome. And once again, I could teleport out, but then it uses my XP, so. Alright. Plus, I got the bicycle. Going up is a lot easier than coming down. I need to actually kind of refine this and maybe add minecarts. We're going to do that in time. But one of those things, you know... <laughs> There's so much in this pack I just haven't had time to do yet, you know. Um, this clay, I'm going to go ahead and dump that into there. And today, for our speed build, we are going to be working around the house. That means the backyard and the house. I don't know that we'll start the garage. It's not really a rush to start that. Um, but I do want to work around the house a bit this episode. Especially that backyard, because that's where a lot of our Britannia stuff is going to be. So I definitely want to get on that. We got Efficiency 4. That is awesome. Hopefully it's got Unbreaking. Silk Touch, Efficiency 4, and Unbreaking 3. And Experience Boost 3. That's actually a really, really nice Maddox. <laughs> so that means, yeah, we're going to have grass. We're going to have all kinds of nice things. Nice things. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the speed build. And we'll get working through some of this stuff.
I can't believe myself I never thought that this would be our end But it's nothing new And my lover's honesty I can push it back, push it back down if I have to If you want me to Cause we can So tell me now how what's left to lose if we Tell you that you're not beautiful You give so much to the world But get nothing back at all She wants new beginnings Always made hopeless wishes She don't know what she wants She don't know what she wants It's more than love for an evening Could be more than a weekend I won't mind wasting this time As long as I can call you mine But you were magic The moment that so beautiful that there is nothing like you and I would see you in my dreams when I'd rather be together baby all 
could go on for infinity I'm turbulent and you are cool oh, oh, oh. You watch me smile and dance like a fool But I don't care cause you do like me
Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Um, a couple things. First up, I, I love the way this is coming together. I'm actually I'm actually generating steel quicker. Like, that part is coming together faster than I would have thought. Um, we've almost got, well, a wall. <laughs> a wall done in this direction. It's really nice because if even if you stand, like, back in behind the barn, you can still see this factory. And the roof's not even on it yet. Uh, which was kind of my goal, you know, I kind of wanted a factory that wherever you're at in the town, you could look up and you could see that factory. Um, kind of, and it, it's really just, you know, it's the first segment, too. It's not even, it doesn't have a roof on it, it's not done, and it's only the first segment of it. And you can still see it from pretty well anywhere in the town um, at the moment. So I'm just kind of, kind of doing work on that as we do other projects because... The stuff that's involved with that takes a little bit. Now, we're about to hit Batania pretty hard. And once we have lots of mana, then it's not really going to be an issue to make lots of clay. <laughs> so, we will start doing that here soon. Um, we have generated a lot of money. We are richer now than we have ever been. And spring's not even over. And, I mean, we were broke-ish at the beginning of spring. 30,000 gold. And it's been rolling in. And, I mean, we've been buying stuff too. Like, I actually had to buy more turnip seeds this episode just because we've been going through them so fast. But one thing I've noticed that's really awesome about spring, okay, we got our all of our sprinklers on the, on the same schedule now, right? And what's cool is anytime the sprinklers go out, I know that turnips are in. They have the exact same time frame uh, for the sprinklers and for turnips, which is awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I actually, potatoes just came in, I harvested those, Tomorrow, strawberries will come in because those are every every other day strawberries. And by the way, I don't know how much larger the farm plots are going to get because it takes like... If you noticed, I would cut and now we'd come back and it would be like nighttime. <laughs> like Because it takes so long to harvest all this stuff. But we are pulling in money so quick. It's great. Um, and we're doing... I mean, we're good on seeds. We should have the seeds. I shouldn't have to plant potatoes again. That should be the final planting of those. Turnips, I'll have to plant again... Um, and that's, I mean, that's the main thing. Um, it takes about close to a stack of seeds, not quite a stack of seeds, but it does take quite a bit every time that replant time comes back. So, um, but yeah, so anyways, what we were working on today, I didn't quite get as much of the backyard as I was hoping to, but we did spend a bit of time inside. Now, there is a few things to note. First up, a lot of the downstairs is going to get reworked because things changed. Um, the windows are going to get reworked. The floor in places is going to get reworked. Um, like around here, around these, I'm actually going to do birch because then it kind of looks like the pillar's actually going into the floor. This looks like there's a big hole here. So that stuff's going to get reworked. Um, this area is not done. This stuff is not set in stone. Um, I did craft some mana pylons just during the speed build. Um, they're very straightforward to craft, but they give you enchantment power of eight. So two of those gives us level 30 enchants because then I could break down the bookshelves, get rid of that big clump that was in here and start working on kind of cleaning up this room. Now um, I've got to finish um, this segment here and this segment here to kind of make it looks like, look like these bookcases are actually framed in, um, but we're able to go with the slab ones. We are also going to have some from Bibliocraft up so that we can actually put books in them. And I, when I was building this, I actually came up with a really cool idea. Once we hit refined storage, I'm going to have a separate refined storage system for just our enchantment stuff. And I, I came up with an idea that I think is going to be really cool for implementing refined storage into this room without it feeling techy. Because basically my idea is we're going to have it hidden unless we're using it. And then we'll open it up and phew, there's refined storage. And we'll keep all of our enchantment books. By the way, it's not going to be stone. I was just putting that planning stuff out. So <laughs> don't worry, it's not going to be more stone. Um, also, out here, um, one thing to note. This this is not done. I decided, I did chisels and bits last episode. I wasn't going to do chisels and bits. But this kind of gives you an idea of how the wall is going to be laid out. Because this is not going to be just solid blocks all the way around. It's also not going to be solid stone long term once we get into the chisels and bits aspect of the house which I'm kind of dreading. <laughs> but uh, once we get into that, it's not going to be just solid stone. It's going to be just as bits, architecture, crafts, and stuff like that to kind of to add some um, 
you know, kind of break up that stone a bit. But I decided to go with these DecoCraft windows. I really like these. I really, really like these. And I think they fit in well. Um, the window colors look good. They're almost like um, a mahogany look. It's supposed to be dark oak, but it looks mahogany. And I actually quite like it. Um, and then, okay, something, something that's really interesting. Because we've talked about, in the back, the garage, right? We've talked about where that's going to be, and yeah. I started laying that out. That's This is actually going to be the garage. So the road's going to come up through here. And, of course, there'll be a pathway here, but, you know, look both ways before you cross. <laughs> I might be driving in with a car. But right in here is going to be a garage. And I decided to actually implement... I know um, I've had a comment in the past about using this chasm. And we also have this nice little water wheel segment. Well, I can't get over there. But anyways, the water wheel segment that we're not using the back of it, right? We're not using the back and then the side comes into the house. I decided that we're going to use that chasm and we're going to use the water wheel segment and they're actually going to connect into our garage. So our garage is going to come in and it's going to kind of wrap around and hook into the back of that big water wheel segment. And we're going to have parking and stuff there. And um, then it's going to have like a, a little area where you can go down into the chasm and down in the chasm is long term. This is very, very long term. Because as you guys know, all of our projects, of course, this pack's very time sensitive. So I can't spend a whole lot of time on things that we don't really need right this second. And we definitely don't need this right this second. But eventually this is going to be the chasm. Um, my plan is, because we're going to build eventually, <laughs> eventually, long term. We're going to have other little town, um, a larger scale town. Um, or city, not really town. That we're going to have to connect our town too. And so we're going to have like a little tram system that connects to that and probably like the stronghold, um, you know, once we get to the end dimension. So there's going to be some stuff like that that I would like to have like a little underground tram system. And so that's going to connect into our garage as well as probably one other place in the town um, a little bit farther out. So that's going to be the plan. The garage is going to be multi-purpose and connect all that different stuff. So I think it'll be kind of nice. And then possibly... This is just a possibility. Once we get up to the top of this structure, I might actually build us a helipad up there. Um, because I do want a helipad because we're going to be getting a helicopter in time. So we may actually put the helipad on there. That way we actually kind of use this structure. It's not just um, just this. We're kind of using this um, almost like this ancient you know, relic of the past that's here. Maybe this was here before we even founded the town. And so we kind of cleaned it up and repurposed it, added water wheels, and used it for our own purposes kind of a thing. So just just some thoughts I was thinking of while I was building this. This was all just kind of like, oh, well, maybe this will work. So um, just some ideas, some ideas that I'm kind of throwing around. Um, but yeah, so if we come back in here, I know it's about wrapping up point, but if we come back here, I want to show you something really, really cool. So I was over here in the field just a minute ago. And I was just harvesting potatoes, and I happened to look up, um, well, I was actually more around in here, but I happened to look up, and, well, it's kind of dark, so, but yeah, so you can see the factory from over the barn. That's how massive the factory is, and the roof's not even on yet, so, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a monster, but anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point, um, uh, the house is coming together, those windows really add to it, and then, like I said, once we get to the chills and bits... My soul will be gone, but we'll get that done and kind of clean that up. Architecture craft first, because it's going to make the biggest difference the quickest, I think, as far as looks. And then we'll get to that. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I had a lot of fun today uh, working on that stuff. And if you guys enjoyed it, as always, be sure and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. Next episode, we will either be speed building or we'll be working on Batania. So, I don't know for sure which one. <laughs> so, um, I'll make up my mind for that time. So, anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, I'll see you guys then.